viewers, welcome to the Church of Nazarene Baptist District Family Forum. We do enjoy sharing with you every Sunday evening at 5 o'clock. Um, myself, Reverend Farley, and of course my co-host, Reverend Kelman. Thank you very much, Reverend Farley. Thank you. And we are glad to have back with us again Daniel Miller. Daniel is a secondary school teacher and also a youth leader. In fact, she is the vice president of the Church of Nazarene Youth District. Uh, We're so glad to have you, Daniel. Good evening, thank you. All right, so, well, last time we zeroed in on bridging the gap um, in terms of generational gap. And today we want to continue our discourse um, from a different angle, again, focusing on the family, um, parenting the adult children. How, how does that, what does that look like? And again, um, Danielle would be sharing with us from her perspective, and then we will proceed in a discussion and discourse. Um, Let's have a word of prayer. Daniel, you want to pray for us and then we'll have a break? Sure. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity where we get to share your word, where we get to share your perspective on the family. We pray that this program would minister to others and that persons would learn so much from what you would deposit through this program. We pray that you would continue to bless each and every one of us, Reverend Farley and Reverend Kelman and the entire team. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, as I said, we'll be zeroing in on the topic, the adult parenting and the adult children. Of course, we said to you earlier, uh, this program focusing on the family, um, family issues. Um, we're doing it. We are motivated to do it because we want to help renew and rebuild family life across Barbados. And we are talking about our own families as well. Because we believe that strong families um, make strong society. And that is our, our focus. So call a friend, family member, and share with us the next half hour. Short break, and we'll be back with you. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum. Shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, it's good to be back with you as we discuss this very important uh, topic, uh, that of parenting adult children. And we know that in this context, this generation, we have um, children who are um, into university, who are into higher studies, and therefore um, they stay home longer. You know, many of them are delaying marriage until a bit later as well. And so uh, the, the potential for having adult children at home has, has increased, you know, in this, in this time period. And how do, we, how do we pair those children? How do we, you know, be able to engage them to maintain our, 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 our values while giving them the luxury of, of being able to feel a measure of independence as well? And... And Daniel Miller will share with us uh, some important principles. Hey, thank you, Robert Kelvin. Um, <laughs> um, when I thought about the, the topic, um, the verse that came to me automatically was Proverbs 22 6. Tree. It says to train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart um, from it. And, uh, I believe that that verse aptly describes the, the role of the parent. Um, and once followed, we could foster good parent-child relationships. Um, I remember in the last session that we were talking about bridging the gap, we talked also about control. And uh, I know it may seem how to put this in words, they're two adults in the house now, 
Mm -hmm. we, we're not having children and adults anymore. Mm -hmm. So there may be a level of friction or conflict um, depending on how the child's no adult sees themselves and the role that they now play in that parent's life. Um, another verse in Ephesians that supports um, the whole topic of training up that child will be in Ephesians. It says, it admonishes parents actually not to provoke their children to wrath. So we don't want to be in a situation where um, they, we have these two adults, a parent and a child, and they're now having lots of conflict because they're not understanding each other and not understanding the role that they now play in each other's lives. Um, parents need to be confident in the work that they would have done. Um, so many times we see that children, they get older, as Robert Campbell is saying, they may have been delaying marriage, and that parent is there nitpicking. And so why you don't want to go along? Why you don't want to see a young boy? You don't want to see a young girl? And, the, and the, 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 <laughs> the child is there like, but it's all right. I am good. When the time is right, I will make that decision. I will, I will go on that journey. And it may seem like if the parent is provoking them or are pushing them. And those things really do cause um, turmoil between a relationship that could have been good. They could have been good when they were younger. They loved their mommy and daddy. They went and all these different trips and they enjoyed the relationship. But now that they're older, uh, the, the rain still seems to be on, and instead of taking a step back, the parent is still there trying to steer the ship, as, as I would say. Um, well, that child or adult is feeling less, um, I don't want to say less capable, but they're feeling now as if they have no control of their own life or their own space. They can't maneuver without them having the parent, them pushing them all on one side. And that, that's something that we really need to, to look at as we talk about parenting, knowing when to let go. Yes, they're still living in your home and you may have your your rules and there's nothing wrong with that but at the end of the day you have to respect that this individual is no longer under the age of 18 or maybe under the age of 20 this is 25 for for argument's sake but they're older now and they're mature enough to take on responsibility and be able to function independently from the parent you can all live as adults in this home and still have that nice parent-child relationship without it, and I'm gonna use a word being thrown around now, without it being toxic. You know, that's the new word that's being thrown around in society. Everything is toxic. But we don't want it to, to break down. We don't want that relationship that you would have had in your formative years to to break down and now in your latter years you turn into a parent that seems to be taking from this child, taking from them and, and then they don't seem to appreciate it anymore. And then that has a, a, a turn and now that relationship which was once positive and thriving has now become negative. And, and we see that happening a lot in relationships and we want to help parents to see that hey you still are the parent you still are the parent that responsibility is not taken away from you however you are not parenting a child anymore this is an adult you have no they have no leveled up in a way and you can still be a part of their life without making it seem as if it is now total turmoil and destruction. Mm -hmm. And so um, one focus on the family article was saying that this parent was quarreling and she said, I don't know what's wrong with my child anymore. He doesn't want to do this, he doesn't want to do that. And the lady simply told her, that's because you're parenting in the flesh. You need to parent in the spirit. You need to pray for this child. You need, there's some things that as a parent now, you may have to see and say, you know what, I'm going to let um, Joy deal with that on her own. 
I think Joy has reached the age where she can deal with it. If Joy is having a problem, Joy knows that my door is always open. Right. Joy knows that she can always come to me for help and assistance. I trust that the work that I've done in Joy's life as a parent has now come to fruition and Joy will make the right decision. Mm -hmm. If Joy makes the wrong decision, that is not the time for me to get on Joy either. That's the time for me to say, okay, Joy, you've made a wrong decision. These are the options. Let's see how we can work together on this to make sure that you can come out of this situation. Um, maybe she will get some scratches, but she wouldn't have as much hurt as if it was a parent who was jagging at her. Yes. And so again, communication is going to be key in, in living together with a parent mm -hmm. um, at this age because you have to make sure that there, there are clear lines um, in your relationship now and the lines are not blurred. You, you, and, and the thing is, is to have the discussion. I think sometimes we are afraid to have the discourse. We are afraid to have the conversation with, um, our, with the parents and, and say, look, this, this is how I feel. Um, let's see how we can work on this together. Mm -hmm. um, many times we, because the lines are so blurred, they, there's a lot of confusion and then both parties don't know where they stand and they have a space where they say nothing and then further confusion. And we're trying to avoid that within families. We're trying to make sure that they're as healthy as possible. Mm -hmm. And so, so like good parents, we, we, we have sown the seeds, we have fertilized and done everything that we know that we're supposed to do. And we, we also, there's a time when you also sit back and watch. Let's see how the rains will affect. Let's see how this crop will grow. Let's see what will come forth. And when the time is necessary and that, per, and that child comes to you for help, you'll be there willing. I think many times our adult children may feel like they're left alone. Um, sometimes, you know, how, how can I talk to mommy? How can I talk to daddy about this particular issue? We, he thinks that I'm still a child, but I have to show him that I'm not a child anymore and I'm an adult, but I still want to be able to have his advice and his counsel when it comes to certain things. We're sharing this space together, but I don't want it to be any sort of confusion. I still want it to be peace and harmony. How do we weather these storms together? And I, I really think that conversation is necessary above all else. I think there's no real way to, to skirt around it, but just to have conversation. And um, sometimes those conversations are hard to have because of the opinions of the parties, but they are necessary in order for us to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think again, um, um, Danielle, you've given us some very, very, some very practical uh, wisdom in terms of dealing with this, uh, this problem, which has become a lot more you know, um, prevalent now than, than before. And I think that one of the things we need to kind of begin to talk about, though, is you know, how do we have that difficult conversation? Mm -hmm. Because I believe that perhaps um, that's one of, the, one of the challenges for parents. You know? They're not so sure how to, how to navigate yeah. when that conversation. Uh, but also, I think, as well, it has to do with the ability um, to release, as Daniel said, the issue of control. And um, you know, parents sometimes believe that they are ultimately responsible for children, and maybe they are at some level. Um, but as the child gets older, he or, he or she becomes uh, equally responsible for their own destinies as well too, and therefore um, uh, releasing that in our control. Uh, so when we come back, we'll, we'll talk some more about this uh, very important um, topic uh, in terms of raising adult parents, adult children, sorry. So stay tuned. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. We are back with you. And of course, as we said earlier, we are focusing on the topic of parenting the adult children. And uh, Daniel 
give us some serious food for thought just now um, as we continue our discourse. I just want to zero in on a perspective of Elizabeth Fischel and Jeffrey Arnett. Um, some tips, five tips they would have identified how we can make that relationship better. First one, observe respectful boundaries. Um, that's between the parent and the adult child. Um, listen more than you talk. I think in prior discussion, um, they were indicating that see yourself as a consultant and not a CEO. And then do what you love together. What is it that you love to do together? Um, adult, child, and parent. And intim intimacy will follow. Set ground rules for how to disagree. Because as Daniel said, disagreement is going to come. Mm -hmm. Because we're different in age, perspectives, the different generations, so to speak. But how do we, what are some basic ground rules you can set when conflict arises? And finally, make room for significant others in their lives. The person may have a boyfriend. All right? Or girlfriend. Or girlfriend. <laughs> of course. Okay, anybody can zero mm -hmm. on any of those points. Yeah. Well, well I, I think maybe the, the last point is the one that creates maybe um, some measure of, of uh, it's, a strong, it's, a, it's a strong <laughs> word. Some measure, measure of mayhem at times, right? Um, the in terms of uh, the rules that place to girlfriend boyfriends, um, you know, coming to the house and mm -hmm. um, and uh, where, do, where do they go or yeah. don't go for that matter? Yeah. And, um, and it, yes, mm -hmm. and, and I believe that mm -hmm. uh, that should be a prior discussion though. Yeah. Um, so that the person who comes doesn't feel uncomfortable either, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because that can also occur as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, um, and, uh, and and there should be that element whereby, like like Danielle said, the rules are, are, are you know, set down. Um, uh, persons understand the limits, you yeah. know, to, mm -hmm. uh, to, the, to them being there mm -hmm. and, uh, and they operate within those limits, yeah. I think that should be um, the, a given, you know, and, and if there's a, an aggression of those limits, I believe that that should be dealt between the, the child and the parent. Mm -hmm. I don't think it should be an open Not show in front of the with the person being there, party. you know, yeah. um, as a this can occur. It has happened. You know, yeah. um, it, there should be that element where afterwards, you know, um, mom or dad says, you know, to uh, so a daughter, mm -hmm. you know, I'll uh, be we a little bit concerned about this. Um, yeah. I mean, we don't want to happen again. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, at that level. Mm -hmm. And you think, of course, what you're saying, you want mutual respect. Yeah. Because if I'm bringing, I mean, not even a boyfriend or girlfriend, some friends over. Yeah. For an example, mm -hmm. um, that should be discussed with the parent beforehand mm -hmm. in terms of when is the best. Right. And not because I'm an adult, I can bring somebody anytime without mm -hmm. so discussion mm -hmm. and discourse. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's critical. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, though, that I think is also important, and I think uh, that there is, the, you know, I mean, what, what is the end of parenting? Um, and, and, and that should be to produce a, a, a child, a child, you know, who can function, yes. you know, um, in society in, in a manner that allows him or her mm -hmm. um, to, to do well, mm -hmm. all right? And, uh, and therefore, even in terms of the adult child living in the, in the, in the, in the family, that there should be some, some element of responsibility mm -hmm. uh, that child should carry mm -hmm. in preparation uh, for when they live on their own, so you want so, to you want to explain what you mean with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm talking about things like paying bills. Paying bills, oh, okay. you know. I'm talking about things like. Um, well, I, I I live here all my life. Why do I have to pay a bill? Well, because because you are adult. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because 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 then we can create though, as I've seen in lots of marriages, yeah. a kind of future shock. Mm -hmm. So when that child gets married or, 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 or goes and live yeah. on their own, mm -hmm. he can't function. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, um, if he doesn't understand why he has to uh, pay bills every month, you know, he never did it before. Yeah. You know, she doesn't understand, you know, why she has to make sure that the kitchen is, mm -hmm. is clean and, and, and the floor is swept because mm -hmm. she never did it before. And it's not that they're, that they're, that they're in any way not clean or, yeah, or, or yeah. not responsible. It's yeah. just that they've never had the practice. But you know, sometimes, yes. though, uh, Reverend Kellen, 
some parents indulge. Yeah, they do. Enable. Yeah, because they, yes. yeah, they say, oh, well, you go ahead. You say, I'll do it. Yeah, enable. And they may even give the responsibility to the adult child. But when they turn it back, they go and do it. Yes. Because they don't always want to wait for the right opportunity for them to do it. They go and do it. Yeah. So the child doesn't get a chance to cope, maybe even wash their own clothes. Yeah. I'm not saying you can't help. But that empowerment mm -hmm. of giving in terms of responsibility is very, very critical. That's critical, Arlo Farley. And, and one of the things I do a lot in primary counseling is to talk those kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, you know, unless you're able to, to function, then you know, the whole period process has not really uh, produced the, the, the best yeah. end result. You know? um, I'm not sure if Daniel wants to kind of uh, come in here and, and maybe share a thought or two. Yeah, but I mean, even in marriage, that's where we have the, the term, the mommy's boys and the, <laughs> the daddy's girls, because the parent has not parented to the point where they have now have a mature, responsible adult. Again, continue to enable them in behaviors that they should not be indulging in. So when you go now, you're telling them to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you're telling, you're pushing them towards this marriage, but then when they get there, what can they do? What do they bring to the table? Yes. And as Reverend Kelman said, not that they don't know how to do it, but because they have never had the opportunity practice. or practice doing it, it's almost foreign to them. So washing the dish, okay, fine, I could wash a dish. But washing dishes every day. Every day. You know, washing dishes every day. I'm not hiring every day. You know, so we, we have to be very practical in the way yes. that we yes. share these responsibilities. Mm -hmm. and, and respect, again, is, is critical. Um, you have to be able to share and respect the differences of opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we see, parenting can go either way. It can yeah. either go where you really push them one way or you enable them too much that That's they right. stay. So mm -hmm. there are two extremes, but we need to bring balance, balance yeah. um, to the table. Yeah. Um, one thing I, I want to share as well is to, to share wisdom without being critical. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, and yeah. you know that that can come off sometimes. I think it's sometimes it's, it's unintentional. You're just sharing because you want to make sure that they understand. But you have to be in a place where you share without telling them that they you are. Have to do this. Yeah, or they have to do this, mm -hmm. or that they don't even have the capacity to think mm -hmm. or or be an adult. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. can't bring them down, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes that happens so unintentionally. Even they need to affirm. Yeah. Oh yes. That's that's important. And you build confidence in them. In them. Yes. But, but remember, we'll go one step further, Farid, and I want to talk about, uh, I think Daniel kind of began to speak to it just now, the issue of guilt. Mm. You know, because some of these uh, parents uh, will appear out of guilt for the injury of their adult children. Mm -hmm. You know, they would have wanted the, the, the child to become X or Y or, or, or behaviors that they, you know, for them would be, you know, um, you know, accidental behaviors. Mm -hmm. And that child has not become such, mm -hmm. and uh, therefore uh, the parent feels responsible. They feel uh, they feel guilty, and uh, constantly they at the at the child's neck and throat, you know, uh, because of what they're doing. And and yes, of course, you want the best for your children, but once you've done you know what you're supposed to do as a parent, and you've made sure that you've uh, you know uh, put the, all, all the right all the right inputs in the child, mm -hmm. then the truth of the matter, the child too has a, a mind of their own. Yeah. And they can make choices, yeah. and, and and the parents should not feel uh, so guilty as a lot of the consume how they how they interact and engage uh, with the child. Yes, mm -hmm. I think Daniel's words are very very important. Pray for that child, you know. Go to God before go to God on behalf of that child, but also understand uh, that child has made some decisions, uh, which you can see maybe the consequences down the road, uh, but they they have to come to that point mm -hmm. for that change to really occur, yeah. you know. And as Daniel said, even if they have to make a choice that may be the wrong one, yes. you're there for them. Yes. As the saying goes, when they fall, you catch, help you catch them when they fall, rather yeah. than yes. degrade them yes. and belittle them. Yes. In Luke 15, we, we see that, that being demonstrated, you know, the, the boy said to his father, give me what is mine, let me go. Yes. You know, I don't see any sense where the, where the father went to try to, to destroy him in any kind of uh, major way. I mean, I'm sure he said to him, you know, do you really want to do this? You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Um, so this is it's really a choice you want to make. Um, but I didn't, any, 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 any threat, to, uh, you it. know, any mm -hmm. force. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind right. of, you know? So, so. But I, then when he came back, when, when that's the right. came back. That's right. That's right. He didn't say, well, I, I, I give you all that. Right. This is good for the, this is good for the head boy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't look at you also coming that. that, that, that. <laughs> 
That's not more than door shut. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right. You do that, right? Um, he, 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 he was for him, you know. Um, that unconditional yes, love, yes, so clear. Yes. Um, that safe harbor. And forgiveness. Yes. Yeah. You know, this is critical too in terms of the parent, the adult child, a sense of forgiveness, mm -hmm. both ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you rubbish other as adults, mm -hmm. um, wrong ways sometimes. Yeah. The prodigal father, if you want to call it that, mm -hmm. demonstrated mm -hmm. the importance of compassion and forgiveness. And grace as well. And, and, and grace, you know. Um, and to me, that's, that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. because, because God downloads grace into our lives uh, so we can be gracious to others as well too, even our adult children. Right. And, the, and the truth is, we, we are talking about adult children, but the adult children may have children too. Oh, yeah. So there's a, a, another layer, mm -hmm. a dynamic of managing. Of course, mm -hmm. those very small children are watching how you are treating their mommy mm -hmm. or their daddy. Mm -hmm. So the dynamics there are critical. Mm -hmm. Difficult, but yet doable. Double. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we run away from difficult situations, mm -hmm. complicated situations. But I, I think God has given us the capacity and the resilience to deal with difficult issues. Yeah. And uh, if we put our heads together, mm -hmm. it's amazing where we have. Sometimes the solution is right there. Right. Yeah. But putting our heads together, listening, communicating, mm -hmm. empathizing, we can bring about some tremendous change. Mm -hmm. To the betterment of the family. Right. And I, and I was wondering too, and uh, maybe maybe Danielle can help us here about what, what would be some of the important principles uh, for those difficult conversations though. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm thinking that maybe one of them could be the fact that that our relationship must always remain intact. So mm -hmm. so we say to each other, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, John, Mary, we don't agree. You know, I, I don't agree with necessarily what you what your position, but I want to know that I, I, I want to always be the place to love you mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that you love me as well, you know, so the, 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 pro, the pervasiveness yeah. of the relationship. This agreement doesn't yes, have to destroy yes, us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you want to share any thoughts you may have? It doesn't, doesn't burn yeah. us down. It doesn't yeah. tear us apart. Um, our relationship must survive through it all because at the end of the day, we want to remember that we have each other. Um, one thing that parents need to remember as well even as, and as we go through it, is that a difference in opinion doesn't mean a loss of love, That's or it right. doesn't mean yeah. that you hate one another. Mm -hmm. It just means, again, you're coming from two different sides of the ballpark, mm -hmm. but we are working together to make sure that both lives are enriched. Because not only is a child's life enriched because of what the parent does, but also the parent's life, because the, the, the child brings joy to the parent. The, the, the child could also bring uh, a measure of Fulfillment as well, right. so that you see, hey, this is my son. You know, you can look back at your son or daughter and a say, yes, pride. this is my yeah. son or my daughter, and I'm pleased yeah. with how they will come through. Even and it's, though, even though uh, they're age. still thriving, yes. yeah, and you yeah. can celebrate that fact as yes. well. So, so that, and and also being able to celebrate with them, celebrate all their triumphs mm -hmm. and you can also be there when they're also having their, pain. their, their pain. pains mm -hmm. and i think that's the, the intimacy of still being in the home mm -hmm. you can still i don't want to say uh, well let me say mother you can still be able to mother or oh, father that yeah. child and and it doesn't have to be in a intrusive yeah, in yes. a way. Yeah. yeah and that's great well we, we coming close to the end and i think it has been an, an interesting discussion mm -hmm. but i think what you're seeing in essence that the child, the adult child still being in the home mm -hmm. can even add value of course. to the home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So their being there doesn't have to be seen as a burden or, mm -mm. or a load or, you know? And, and, and I refer also the, the whole financial arrangement as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, it yes. can be one that, that allows that child to even um, grow stronger financially. Yeah, that's so it. when they're launched out, they're yes. able to do a bit better. You have to save more. Save, save more, more yeah. you know. Um, you stay your child, you're investing. Yeah, right? yeah. Build, it, build it on house, you know, mm -hmm. rather than going yeah. through that mm -hmm. um, that period of, of maybe having to, to rent. It can yes. probably go through the ownership. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that, so, so that there's yeah. some benefits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daniel, we're going to give it the last word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last words. Make sure that you remember that your child is still your child regardless. Love them, care for them, 
but also give them room to mm -hmm. grow and to mature into the responsible adult that you would have invested in. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Right, Kelly, it's a closing prayer. Almighty God, we uh, again give you thanks for this wonderful time of discussion. And we pray, God, for its impact on those, Lord, who may be at this time still at home in their, in their, with their families, those adults, as well as those families that are adjusting to that adult child. I pray, God, you will grant them uh, the wisdom that they need. We thank you, Lord, for Daniel, who shares so openly and so accurately. And we pray, God, that that would have um, gone a long way in seeking our Father to bring resolution uh, where their conflicts are between adult children and their families. Lord, we give you thanks and we bless your name. Strengthen our families, Lord. Make them more robust, Lord. And, and grant to us, O oh God, the, the will, Lord, to, to keep engaging, Lord, uh, as families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Daniel, thanks again for coming. May God bless you in your endeavor. Thank you so much. God bless. Listen, viewers, see you next week. Thank you.